Hello everybody, I would like to walk you through the lesson plans for week one. So here we go. Um, week one is this section right here. Okay, so once you've actually um, started with the course, you've understood the syllabus, you've introduced yourself, you've created your website, you could begin then lesson plan one and lesson plan two. And if time allows, this week do complete lesson plan three because it will make your week two much easier. Lesson plan three can be completed either week one or week two, and it will not be considered late if it goes into week two. Um, so for lesson plan one, it's an introduction to ethics. It's about two and a half to three hours to complete, and it's, or maybe even less, it depends on um, how fast you work, but your required reading is just a very short introduction to what is ethics. It's, um, I believe it's from the BBC website, and it's very clear and simple. And then it talks about the three branches or approaches in ethics, again, a one page. Um, the next thing to read is about uh, the moral stages of development by Lawrence Kohlberg, and he offers lots of examples in this article. It's very good. Um, introduction to ethics and the idea of moral circle. This link here is simply a picture, really. Let me widen it for you. Um, it's talking about the concept. It's not really it's talking. It's demonstrating through a pictorial form this concept of a moral circle, and in the center is me. And then you have your friends and your country and human beings and animals and future generations. And it's the idea of expanding that circle and not just being focused on self-interest and the me philosophy. Um, an article that directly correlates with that is by Peter Singer. He's a professor at Princeton University. He's one of the most famous ethical theorists today, one of the most famous certainly. And he wrote an article talking about the drowning child in the expanding circle. And it's a very nice kind of short article. It's a good one just like two pages long, um, talking about the concept of expanding one's moral circle. So if the child was drowning right next to you, of course, you would save that child. But what happens if the child is drowning uh, several blocks away or several countries away? I mean, what is your moral obligation? So that's an interesting article and a point he raises. And um, supplemental reading follows. Supplemental reading or optional reading um, it's it really adds to the course, but it's not required. It's if you have time and you want further clarification. And I I'm kind of curious if you did have time to squeeze this in. It really goes much more in depth into the three branches of ethics. So um, that would be optional for you. And if you do complete any extra work in this class, especially if you're a philosophy major and you really want to dive into it deeper, uh, make sure that you write up something on it, a summary analysis, um, insights about it, and then you could place that in your, on your website in a section called Extra Credit. So on your website will be the midterm, the final, the post, the research, and then you can create a fifth section called Extra Credit if you did complete any of that. Or you can always use those articles or those films that are optional um, and post about them in the participation forum. And you'll see here... Um, that I estimate the reading time will be about two hours, but on this case, it actually might be a little less. Then I have the films, and I am a big fan of TED Talks, so there's several TED Talks in this course, and one of them here is by Barry Schwartz, and it's on wisdom and morality, and he applies the concept of morality to different areas in life, that is um, ethics and business, medicine, politics, education, etc. And it's a very popular one I've used in the past. I do have a note here about taking notes as you watch the films and it's highly recommended to do so and the reason why is because as you're watching the film and then it comes to writing up a response for your midterm you'll forget a lot of what you watched but if you did take notes and jot down some of the key ideas and some examples then what you can simply do is type in those notes when it comes to uh, preparing for that midterm answer and having to rewatch it would take too much time. So um, the required reading and the required film, and then I move to the post and really explain um, here, just again, what a post is all about. And um, the post question will always have two bullets or two sections to address. Each one kind of represents a paragraph. And starting off with the concept of the moral circle and examples he uses in the article, and then applying this to you. I always try to have the post relate back to you an application and not simply be a summary of or that would be more of a midterm question and not a post question. Then the exam question is the same thing as a midterm question, and um, the midterm question has the four uh, bullets to address. Okay, Three of them deal in this context with um, the reading, and one deals with the film. Okay, And so there'd be four sections to write. And it's very helpful for me as a grader of your work to have your material written up as sections themselves, not simply just all one long 
essay. Okay, so that's the introduction to ethics, and uh, this lesson plan is a little longer than the first lesson plan. And the reason why it's really tackling a huge subject, the subject is the history of ethics. And the history of ethics, as you could well imagine, goes back 2,500 some years. And so um, there's really a lot to cover, and how, would I, how can I do that in one lesson plan? And so what I have decided to assign is, again, another Peter Singer article. You read him several times in this semester, or this term. The first one is on history of Western ethics, and uh, he explains what ethics is about. And then he jumps into different time periods, and he starts off with the classical period of Greek ethics, Socrates and Plato and Aristotle. And then he moves to Greco-Roman ethics of Epicureans and Stoics, and that's period number two. And there's four periods to look at. Um, you're not responsible for every nuance in this article, every detail. It's just kind of getting a feel for how ethics has changed throughout different time periods. And then this is a much shorter link. You're going to like this one, of course, the shorter the better. This was um, an article or a section he wrote. It's kind of a, a part of that last article, but at the end of it, and I made it a separate link for you. It's on the history of Eastern ethics, and it looks at Hinduism, Jainism, or pronounced Jainism, Buddhism, and Taoism and Confucianism. So this will just give you a very short two-page glimpse of ethics from an Eastern perspective. And then moving out of the reading, um, the films that relate to this, there's a very short film explaining to you the different schools of thought and ethics. And um, well-known in ethics is what's called the trolley dilemma, and that's explained to you as well in that short film. Then if you clicked on this, you'll have a variety of what are called three-minute films on philosophy. They're real kind of fun, artsy little films on different philosophers or philosophical topics. And choose three of them and make sure that they fit with the reading. For instance, Plato would fit, but Galileo would not because Galileo was not mentioned in Peter Singer's article. Um, an example would be Epicurus, um, Epicurean philosophy and Stoicism was mentioned, so that would fit. And an example who would not fit would be, for instance, uh, Voltaire. So that would be um, some examples to either choose or not choose. The Jane film is just a short five to six minute film explaining uh, Eastern ethics from a Jane's viewpoint. Okay, the post again is um, two bullets. Uh, you see four here because I did give you a choice. You can either respond to post number one or post number two for that. Okay, and then the exam, again, the four bullets. And again, sometimes there's gonna be three on reading and one on film in this context. There's two topics on the films to discuss and two topics on the reading to discuss, okay? And um, approximately this lesson plan will be three hours, maybe a little less. It's just that that reading assignment's a little lengthy. Now moving to lesson plan three. This is on the topic of what's called evolutionary ethics, and it's a very um, significant field to study in, in this class. Evolutionary ethics looks at how morality may have started from an evolutionary perspective, and the required reading, um, I give you the estimation of how long these, these articles are, one page, two pages, so forth and uh, their supplementary reading down here. This is a book I wrote um, several years ago explaining um, evolution um, and how consciousness can be understood from an evolution perspective. It really doesn't deal with morality, but if you needed more insight into evolutionary theory, that would be available to you, and that would be optional. And then the films, um, TED Talks. I love, again, TED Talks. So we have DeWall and uh, this 15-minute TED Talk, and it's actually quite funny. I remember laughing a lot watching that one. This one here is on moral evolution and transcendence. It is dynamic. I love this one. This one is Robert Wright um, on the evolution of moral systems, another good one. And then Richard Dawkins from the University, um, Oxford University. He's a biologist and he has um, many different documentaries out for there, but this one specific is on morality and evolution. It is a five or six part one, but I'm only assigning the first three parts. So if you wanted to watch further, then you can just uh, search on YouTube for that. Uh, supplemental, I wanted to squeeze this one in, but I felt like I've already assigned you too much. And this is Hank Green, one of the crash courses he's done, um, explaining how altruism from an evolutionary pr perspective um, could be accounted for. And if you did something like this three-minute one, you could post about it in the participation form for some credit. Again, take notes as you watch each of these, write the main points, a couple examples, and then you're good to go on that. Okay, so your post for this one. Um, I have to get rid of one of those bullets because there's only supposed to be two, but there you go. Again, it's an, it's an application to you, and your perspective on it, and then um, the exam question on it. So that would... Uh, finish that lesson plan. So 
lesson plan one, two, and hopefully three if you can squeeze it in. And that completes um, my introduction for week one. Thank you very much.